Ever struggled with tying a tie? You're not alone. It's a rite of passage that seems to baffle many of us, turning what should be a simple task into a knot-filled nightmare. But fear not, because we're about to unravel the mystery of tie tying. And by the time we're done, you'll be able to execute this sartorial skill with the grace and ease of a seasoned professional. Why is it so important to master this art? Well, whether you're heading to a job interview, a fancy dinner, or a wedding, a properly tied tie can be the difference between making an impression and making the right impression. It's not just about looking good, but feeling confident too. So are you ready to transform that long strip of silk into a symbol of sophistication? Ready to master the art of tie tying? Let's dive in. Before we begin, ensure you have a tie and mirror handy. Now, let's get those preliminaries out of the way. Start by standing in front of the mirror as if you're about to embark on a thrilling journey. Place the tie around your neck, feeling the fabric against your skin. It's a dance of silk and satin, isn't it? Make sure the wide end of the tie is on your right side, and the narrow end is on your left. This might feel a little counterintuitive, but trust me, it will all make sense soon. Now let's talk lengths. The wide end should hang roughly 12 inches lower than the narrow end. It's a bit like a seesaw, isn't it? The balance might seem off, but it's just right for our purposes. And just like that, you're all set up. With the setup in place, you're ready to start tying. Now cross the wide end over the narrow end. We're not talking about a secret handshake here, but the first step in achieving the perfect tie knot. Picture it as an X mark, where your tie's wide end crosses the narrow end. It's simple, right? Next, let's add a little twist to this tail of the tie. Pass the wide end under the narrow end. It's like a dance, isn't it? The wide end is now leading, taking the narrow end for a spin on the dance floor of your shirt. Now it's time for the grand maneuver. Bring the wide end up and let it dive through the loop around your neck. Don't hold back now, let it glide smoothly, and there you have it. You've just woven the wide end and the narrow end of your tie into a beautiful dance creating the first knot. Great job, you've just made the first knot. And with this, you're one step closer to mastering the art of tie tying. You're doing great. Let's finish this with the final knot. Now we're going to take the wide end of the tie, wrap it around the narrow end, and then pass it up through the neck loop again. Picture it like a dance, where the wide end twirls around the narrow end before making a grand leap through the neck loop. Next, and this is where the magic happens, you're going to pass the wide end through the loop you've created in front. Imagine threading a needle or steering a ship through a narrow passageway. It's a delicate maneuver, but you've got this. Finally, it's time to tighten the knot. Gently pull down on the wide end while holding the knot. Adjust the tie until it sits comfortably at the top of your collar and voila, congratulations, you've just tied a perfect tie knot. You're now ready to step out into the world looking sharp and feeling confident. Let's quickly recap the steps you've learned. We started by unraveling the mystery of tie tying, discussing its origins and why it's such an important skill. We then moved on to the preliminaries, where we stressed the importance of choosing the right tie and ensuring it's clean and wrinkle-free. Next, we dove into the first knot, a simple yet crucial step. We learned about the importance of maintaining tension and the role of the narrow end in shaping the knot. Then we ventured into the final knot, where we saw how the wider end creates the distinctive shape of the tie knot, and how the dimple is formed. We also talked about adjusting the tie for a neat appearance, ensuring it's centered and that the length is just right. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, keep on practicing these steps until they become second nature. You've now mastered the art of tying a tie. Be sure to practice and soon, you'll be tying ties with confidence and ease.